Hi all you woolly girls and boys. Today I'm going to be playing Tower Defense Simulator and I'm going to show you a really cool coin grinding strategy for mid-game players. So I'm going to go find a map real quick, but uh, I'm going to catch back to you guys in a little bit. Also guys, please remember to subscribe to our channel. It would really help us out so we can grow this channel together. So guys, what's up? I'm back and I found the good map. It's decent. It's a chessboard. I would say it's pretty good. It's good for uh, this loadout. So my loadout is farm, militant, medic and DJ and commander so right now I'm gonna place a level zero militant after skipping one wave so then I can deal with the enemies <laughs> but then I'll farm for a bit and then I'll upgrade the militant when it reaches level seven and then or sorry <laughs> level uh, wave wa wave seven and then wave ten so then I'll upgrade it to level two so uh, so um so just so just uh, follow me just just uh, follow what I do so place down another a, place down a militant. A level zero militant. I don't know exactly how much uh, uh, how much militant costs because of the new UI in the menu in a tower defense simulator. But uh, yeah. Okay, let's get to farming. Just uh, okay. Well, I don't know what to say anymore. But uh, anyway, we are. This mil this level zero Milton is pretty much enough to handle normals because it does good DPS. It shoots like four times a second, I think. Anyway, well, uh, let's get moving. So first off, you just when you place down your level zero Milton. By the way, make sure to join the group because you have to skip two waves to place a Milton instead of one wave because yeah, if you don't join the group. Next, you upgrade a farm to level two after after uh, wave four. Make sure not to accidentally um, upgrade the uh, uh, place to another level two farm because it will mess up your farming. A level two farm mess up your farming. It doesn't mess it up that much. It just miss you just miss out on an extra one hundred one hundred and fifty dollars. But I recommend doing it because uh, you might uh, it it might be good later on. But now, we're just going to keep placing down farms, and now, we upgrade one farm to level 2, and then we upgrade this Milton up to level 1. By the way, Milton only has level f uh, 4 levels, but they are get really powerful once you get to max level. Uh, as you see, we're taking care of the slows pretty easily. It is a bit boring considering the slows are, uh, well, uh, yeah, they're just a bit, they're just a bit powerful. So now, you just continue farming. For a bit, and uh, this this Milton is shredding pretty good. Like, look at this. He's shredding pretty neatly. I'm. You like my camera work? I've been practicing a bit. Yeah. So uh, now that we have the slows defeated, next we're gonna just keep farming. I probably am not gonna tell you guys anymore that you still have to farm because uh, that's literally all you have to do up until wave 10 to get a level 2 militant. Level 2 militant does double damage and shoots 5 times a second. It looks to be anyway. But uh let's get mo let's uh just uh yeah, that that level I'm going to show you how powerful level 2 is. Just give us a second. Uh eh, there we go. Level 2 militant. There we go. Look at this. Two shotting normals and four shotting slows. I've kind of it kind of almost rhymes. This is basically an, more than enough DPS to take out the normal boss because it has 160 health. For those of the players who actually have played Molten Mode, yeah, it's literally the easiest mode ever. It's been talked about a lot. Yeah, this is like the easiest mode and best mode for grinding. There are other grinding strategies, though, but uh, this is pretty good. But you may be like, what is next to upgrade or place down? Well, you upgrade the militant up to level 3 so that it does double the damage again and shoots faster and has more range. You don't. I'm not doing it necessarily just for the range or fire rate. I'm just doing it because of the damage and the DPS. Because, like, on this wave, we have two normal bosses. If this was fallen mode, there, these would be. it would just be one abnormal boss, which has 40% defense. But considering it's two normal bosses, you have to use a level four, sorry, not level four, level three Milton. Oh, also, 
quick tip. If you have DJ, the best time to start maxing it is, like, getting it to max level, is to is start doing it when all your farms are level free. Because this is the best efficiency you can get. You can get. Yeah, in like two waves, I will be able two ways I'll be able to afford a max DJ. The Apocalypse Rave. I don't know why it's called that. By the way, I sadly do not have any DJ skins because I, I, I am sort of an OG player in this game, but not really. I remember when Militant used to be gone or something else. I <laughs> also I also remember when an Enforcer was still in the game. Those were the good times. But I didn't play the game a lot when I was a bit younger, you know. <laughs> so uh, that was kind of a mistake because I missed out on so many events and missed out on so many towers. But anyway, let's get back to the strategy. So now I have a max DJ. You can see that because I have all my little free farms. But now we can start maxing farms to get maximum efficiency. And a level 4 militant is pretty good to handle mysteries on some map. But on some of the maps that I've played on, I've gotten some pretty bad RNG of mysteries. Um, in my opinion, by the way, I think breakers are easier than mysteries. What do you What do you guys think? Do you think the same thing or the exact opposite? I think some some people might think it is uh well uh, mysteries because I mean they have less health and they and you can get like really low health enemies. That is true, but remember, they, they can also spawn bosses, like that, that one just did. Yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, not everybody likes mysteries. I like mysteries because of the look, not because of their stupid RNG, because, uh, that really sucks. I, uh, oh yeah, I actually forgot to max my uh, militant on wave 18, but luckily we did not get a bad RNG. Like on some of my runs, I actually did. I did some, this strategy I've been doing, I've been doing it off camera. Uh, and I have sometimes gotten really bad RNG. Like gotten like five bosses in a row. Or was it, no, I think it was six in a row. And uh, yeah. That's not necessarily horrible RNG. If you have a, like a max level militant, it's not that bad because militants do a good amount of DPS. By the way, militants look like they just are like a minigunner because they shoot so fast when you have commander with them. Oh, by the way, this is the, um, I have the Phillips skin for the farm. I just like it how it looks. By the way, I think the best type of skins for the farm should be the short ones. Maybe asking, well, look, uh, look. I know in Tower Defense Simulator, putting skins on towers makes them look cooler. But, uh, putting a skin on, like, farm, like, Phillips skin, is kind of unnecessary. You might think it's cool just because I like the looks. I do like the looks, but, like, there is something you don't really know and probably is not a good, you probably you don't want to know about farms that are pretty high. You know how you can place uh, ranges on cliffs for those pro players who are watching? Um, well, if you didn't know, I'm pretty sure if a farm is too tall, it can actually block the uh, the user the user who has ranger from able to place uh, rangers. I've not encountered this before. I, I, play, I put my farms in good spots so they don't take up space. By the way, I do need. By the way, I really need to get a DJ skin. Oh, also, I have the Holiday Commander. You don't usually, I, in my strategy right now, you're probably watching, you don't need to place the Commander this early, but you can if you want to, because, I mean, I did it because I wanted to see the cool Holiday skin that I got. So let's continue with the strategy. Okay. So, uh, we have a... We have one last obstacle that we have to cross, the uh, speedy boss. So, uh, I think now it's best to uh, place down my last two commanders. For those new players, or noob players, sorry if I'm offended, if I offended you, but there's not a placement limit of commanders. There's no placement limit, but uh, the commanders just, um, well, they, uh, they just, um, well, they, they have no placement limit. 
near does the medic, as you see here. I brought the medic because then I can unstun towers. Oh boy, I'm missing up on the, uh, all that action. Okay, so uh, now let's continue placing militants. By the way, after these steps that you've probably seen, you just gotta find a good spot for the medic, which is which for me is right here. And um, yeah, this is good. This is a good spot. Good spot for medic. So I'm gonna max out three more militants, and then uh, we'll see you, I believe, at the final boss. Well, let's well let's see. Well, let's actually go see what it's like with this defense at a uh, wave 30. If this was falling mode, there would be a tank, which would be kind of bad. But I, it's actually pretty hard to uh, get to wave 30 by yourself if you don't have good towers. Like I'm using militants. I have tried a strategy to try and uh, beat hard, um, like not not hardcore mode, uh, fall in mode using just militants and support. But uh, trust me, it's not as easy as it looks. Look at this. Stocks get destroyed. So let's uh, use commander ability when it comes out. There we go. Look at that shred. Okay, guys. So right now I'm just placing militants. This is probably getting boring because uh, well because uh, I'm placing just a bunch of militants. So, um, I think I'll catch up to you. You know what? I will catch up to you when it's uh, wave 40. So, um, see you there. Okay, guys. Um, I know I said you. I was going to catch up to you guys at around wave 40, but right now, there's another part to the strategy. After you spam, like, you, once you reach the placement limit of militants and all the, all the other towers, basically, you want to sell your farms to get some extra placement. Everybody knows that, but since I have a lot of extra money, it's okay. I can just sell my farms, even though I m maybe that's not a... Some people might think it's not a good idea to sell your farms this early. Some people might also be offended because it's not wave 40. You should be selling your farms at wave 40. But, um... This is, this is how I... Uh, this is how the strategy goes. Those people who said uh, you, I should have sold my farms at wave 40, uh, I just want to say this one thing. It's part of the strategy. I don't care if I have to, if I have to follow the exact rules on what's best for farming. Because all, I, all I'm just making right now is a YouTube video about showing people how to grind on molten mode for coins. You may be like, also, like, uh, Wooly Bear, why aren't you as excited as you were at the beginning of the video? Because, um... I'm just, uh, this is a strategy, it's kind I mean, I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun doing this, so, yeah. So this time now we use, we use Medic to unstun towers, and this time we also use Commander's ability again, and we sell and rewrite the Medic. Every pro knows this, and probably is watching this video so they can actually get a good coin grind. So now we're just, uh, keep chaining Call to Arms, and, uh, keep unstunning the towers. So now, we uh, use Call to Arms again. There we go! That's how the coin grind goes! W yay, we defeated the Molten Boss! This, is a, this was a pretty good fast game. 15 minutes and 48 seconds. So that means if you did 4 battles in an hour, well, under 15 minutes, basically, you would get uh, 2,000 coins per hour. It's not that bad for a mid-game towers. All right, guys. I right now have 15. I have, right now have 50,000 coins. So right now, I'm gonna do something that, that you guys should possibly always do. I'm gonna buy a golden crate. I, by the way, I've had a lot of fun making this video. I just want to say that one thing. And by the way, it took me a long time to get all these coins. I did use multiple grinding strategies just so I wouldn't get bored. But this step, but this strategy of um, wait, let me go to towers. This farm strategy, uh, the strategy for a farm, militant, uh, medic, DJ, and commander. It's, uh, I like it. So let's go see what, um, let's go see what golden skin I unlock, because I'm going to buy this golden crate. Well, these are the golden skins that I have left in my, uh, thing, you know? I have, uh, the golden mini and golden crook boss. I choose them, prefer to get golden mini. Yes, I did say choose and prefer. Okay. Confirm. Time to open it. 
Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited either way because I love both of them. Let's get to see in. Yay! I got golden mini gunner. Whoa! This is amazing. I love it. I literally love it. I, wow. Uh, I have, I by the way opened four golden crates before that crate. Oh my man. Oh god. That is a, that is really cool. By the way, my coins are not really low. But but that was a great time. Well, guys, that's going to about wrap it up for this video. I had so much fun, like, uh, playing and doing and showing you guys this strategy. And I'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel. Give us a like and hit that notification bell. Bye. That was actually really cool. I can't, uh, wow. Golden Mini? That was amazing. I can now play with Golden Mini. I'm so excited. Woo!